Good morning, it's July 25th. You probably saw that China Tech was up significantly in the last 24 hours. We talk a little bit about why that happened in Longboat Arrows this morning, which is what we write to you every morning, Monday to Friday. But let's head over to the Longboat dashboard and find out what's going on with the trading ranges so that you can look at the technicals. So here I've given you first three ETFs on this page that I put together for today, KWEB, CHIH, and CAF. And you can see from the trading ranges here too are just sitting right there. They were, I think, overbought a minute ago. Now they're sitting here um, right on the edge of the trading range. And then you've got CAF above it. But really different signals from, you know, because of the underlyings themselves, you've got bullish short term here on KWEB because tech was on fire. Uh, medium term neutral, but then you've got bearish more on the medium term for these two neutral short term. So obviously um, not the day to be buying into these things. If you're, you know, if you're thinking of shorting tech, I mean, shorting China, you'd be looking at these two versus this one. Um, but taking a look to where we've been, we know that, you know, there was this huge run up from the fall and then it's been on a more downward path. Um, people are pretty excited though about uh, the potential relief for whether it's local governments real estate sector, there's obviously not stimulus going into people's pockets, um, but some improvements on the regulatory front as well is giving this uh, some momentum up here in the very, very short term. So now we're at the high end of the trading range. Uh, we don't believe there's going to be any kind of meaningful stimulus for consumers, uh, but given the meaningful decline in a lot of the securities, we just saw the asymmetry as being um, in the favor of the, in case anything happened, you would see a rally, which is really what we experienced. Uh, but some underlying tech, um, I'm giving you some ADRs because um, most of the people don't do local. We trade local as well. Um, but I've got Baba here, Baidu, Tencent, and PDD, um, Pinduoduo. And you can see here we've got neutral signals, but boy, these are also really at the top end of the trading ranges. PDD is overbought. Um, and you've got uh, given fundamentals and views on the securities, a little bit differences de depending on the security. Um, a lot of hope for IPOs coming out of BABA. Um, and so you've seen a bit of a rally here in July on the names. Um, but if I bring you right in here, that's why you're really getting the close top end of the, the trading range here. Um, so all of these names, not the day to be buying in. If you're looking to go long, obviously you need a, a pullback on it. If you're looking to short, I would take care and take a look at these momentum indicators. Don't be going on things that are more bullish in nature. Um, and obviously we're in earnings season. So fundamentals tend to take over versus these short-term trading signals during earnings season. So I'd spend a little bit more time on that. But when you're thinking about entering, exiting, adding, trimming, you do want to take care of the technicals. Um, the only other piece to note here is for those where we do have implied volatility, you can see other than KWEB, which is really um, neutral, um, a lot of these have a high implied vol volatility premium. So people have been protecting these names and other names. Um, so the room to run up and why we were you know, thinking that it could do so on any positive news, this just gives you a little sense of positioning of where people have been and currently are at. That's it for today and we'll catch you back tomorrow.